weeks. Okay. Um, you are uh, able to see the screen properly. Guys, can you see the screen properly or not? Yes, yes, ma'am. The screen okay, is we'll start. okay. All right, we'll start solving this. We'll, uh, I have another sheet of uh, practice uh, for you, but we'll first see uh, if you're able to finish this one. If that's done, then we'll go to the next. Okay, we'll start with this one. I think I mostly have topics on facial verbs and also idioms and phrases. I think that's where people mostly go wrong. Uh, but if there are other, other general questions that you want to ask me from the content part, then you may please ask that as well, right? So this is the last time we're meeting before your exam, which is on Sunday. Is that so? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. So in general, if you have anything to be um, you know, clarified on from the content of the lectures or any assignments or questions that you might have had, you can ask them. But uh, we will do the practice session. So... Uh, if there's anything that is related to what we're doing in this one, that's also fine. But uh, other questions are also welcome. Okay. And um, in case you're not able to do that today, of course, uh, you have the live session tomorrow. Please make sure that you join the session from 5 to 6 tomorrow. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll begin with this first one. Uh, like you can see, these questions are mostly on word collocations. Right? We've had extensive discussion on word collocation of over three sessions, if I remember. One on uh, lexical collocations, then on the grammatical ones, and the last one on relaxed right? So uh, there are questions on relaxed words separately in this one, but we'll begin with the general ones uh, for the starters. You have the question and options in front of you. You can look at them and choose the best one um, from the ones to look okay. The first one. Serial smoker. That would be the tendency, but uh, check with the other ones. See which one fits better. You can say serial killer, but if it's smoker, then usually you use heavy smoker. Ah, correct, correct, correct. That should be the right one. Okay, heavy, heavy smoke. So my grandfather was a heavy smoker, so few people were surprised when we died of four weekends. Heavy would be the right ones. Then the next one. I always avoid his company because he's a crashing. Crashing idea. Crashing nuisance. Crashing bore. First book. Okay, you can check up the uh, usage of this online, but uh, the actual collocation along with this would be crashing board. Okay, nothing too boring. It's just to intensify the levels of boredom that they use the uh, adjective crashing. Okay, crashing board. Right. Next one, fourth one. This is very common. This should not be a problem. Very commonly heard word for. It is a golden dash. If you miss it, you will regret it. Chance, opportunity, offer. Opportunity. Ah, yes, correct. So option B, right? Golden opportunity. Fifth one. She seemed quite interested in buying that house, but at the last moment, sorry, but at the last moment, she changed her again a common visit. Yes, A, mind, right? Changed her mind. Yes, correct. Correct. Uh, sixth one. Although I was dashed and annoyed by her. Slightly. Gratitude, I said nothing. Ah, correct. Correct. The other ones will not be because, see, they might have shades of similarity. In their meanings, but we know that's not how collocations work, right? 
what are the two important things while you decide upon the right collocation or the pair in the collocation? Do you remember? Hmm. Right. The first one is the frequency, right? They must go on that course, but uh, it's the higher frequency of the coherence that make to words in a pair or collocation. So that's how this one is decided upon is lightly and not lightly or not. Okay. The seventh one here. Could you dash the oil? Inspect check test. Like if you get it again, A, B, and C, you know, they look like they're same. They seem to be very uh, much the same. They are similar, of course, like I said, they're not uh, shapes of similarity, but two of us definitely cannot you know, go along with this one. Uh, could you inspect? Say check the oil, inspect or test the oil. Inspect. Sorry? Inspect. Ha, huh. correct. Okay, so if it's anything that's uh, more material like, then you use the um, option inspect, not check, but test. Okay? Inspect. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the next one. This is uh, this one is an exercise in being lexical. Yes, so you can be the back of the lexical. One of you can tell me. You heard about uh, six of them. Actually, eight also, but W is the most big one of them. It should be a good. How many? Just name a few of them. Yes. No, which thing you want to try? It's still audible, right? Yeah, ma'am, you're audible. Yes, yes. Okay. You want to try? Few of them. Say at least two or three. Uh, Ma'am, the lexical words are words like do, make, no, made. Ah, correct. Ah, make, correct. You're right, it's not made, it's make. I mean, you change it only if you're required to change it for the tense in the system. But otherwise, it's make. The basic one is that. Do I make it correct? Your microphone isn't working. Okay, no problem. You can type out the answers in the chat if that's the case. More do make yes. Yes. Uh, do there are few more this afternoon. in that category, right? Take, have, go, okay. right? All of them uh, fall within this category. Yes. That's right. Okay. Started doing the exercise. I know. Okay, at least do your homework this afternoon. Correct. Second, a mark here. This, in fact, has options and it's not showing you so that we made a mistake. Yeah, so check this. The Dan had made taken. Do you need hey, Mark, you made a mistake. What would you say? Uh, you have a mistake, I've had a mistake, made a mistake. Made a do mistake. you think you should get your coffee? Uh, three, do you dash sugar in your coffee? Do you have a mistake? I think it's just for me, but voice is a bit more clear. Say, yeah, take sugar in your coffee, correct. And you're done. Do you have as well? Okay. 
French. Doing, making, having, making, making, making much progress. Making much progress, yeah. So the usage is make progress, right? So making much progress is the answer. Okay, eight one did Alice dash this photo, did and your option would be. Did Alice take this photo? Ha, make this photo. Correct. Uh, take this photo, right? Not make this photo. Did Alice take this photo? Correct. So take photo. That's the usage. Nine one. Has your brother dashed the washing up yet? And your options would be done. done had made done, taken. Done. Uh, done, done the done, washing done. up yet? Yeah. Done the washing. Uh, the last one over here. You'll you will dash a lot of fun in your yard. Have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. Okay. Good then. We go to the next one. This is uh, an exercise in marking the stress. Okay, we just uh, uh, had a discussion on this for the past, I think, the last two classes. So um, let's see the first one: consideration. Where do you mark the stress? Ah, uh, and and what is the reason you have the suffix? What is breaking? Right. How about the second one? Happiness. Uh, first. It should be happy. Uh, uh, how about the first syllable? First syllable. How about the second one? It's a noun. It's a noun. Project has a verb, happiness. second syllable. Sorry? It's a derived word, man. Happiness is a derived uh, word. And, uh, even our ESS can change. Not ESS. ESS. It is next. And ESS is a suffix. It's a neutral suffix. Again, no change in the uh, pattern of the so, spell. No change. No shift the in the spell. syllable should be stress and happiness. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Correct. Which means uh, the stress on the original word that is happy, which is on the first syllable, um, an adjective that's retained, right? Because ness is neutral and it does not ask about any shift in the space pattern. Okay, now, uh, Maria, third one. You were talking about uh, project. Uh, it's used as a verb. Second syllable? Second syllable. Correct, yeah. That's right. Second syllable. Elio? Second syllable. Ha, ah, correct. And why? It's a verb. It's a verb, correct. Refugee. Refugee. Uh, it's a noun. Uh, so uh, the suffix is e, so that should be stressed. 
suffix is e yeah and maria right this is a noun yet there's also rule for the nouns like this when it has a, a diphthong or a long vowel then by default the stress falls on them okay and it has a suffix ee -E, which is which take the stress on itself because it is a long vowel in this case okay so in case of long vowels or diphthongs the stress has to fall on the uh, suffix itself that is the suffix takes the stress right which is why here although this is a noun you are going to see the stress on the last syllable e this is a long vowel okay Okay. Then comes the uh, the next one, picturesque. Then same time, uh, the, the same thing. The... Yes. Correct. Correct. Same thing. Even uh, suffixes like these, s and et and all, no, they also have a tendency to take the stress uh, on themselves. Okay. So in the case of picturesque as well, the uh, stress is going to be on the suffix s, the last one, the last syllable of the word. Then the seventh one is cordial. Oh, it's cordial. an adjective noun. So the first syllable should write the stress cordial. Yes, correct. That's right. The last one, treatment. Treatment. Uh, since it's a noun, noun, this is a noun, and also this has the suffix meant, right? Remember, we talked about government and improvement. Right, so no change in the uh, stress of the original word. The stress in the word is retained because meant is again neutral suffix. No change in the stress. Okay. Yeah. So first syllable. And anyway, this is without the suffix. It's a, a monosyllabic word, so obviously the stress will be. Okay. Uh, all right. Then the last one here is to choose the plural marker for the code. Okay. So the or the. What's the um, descriptive rule that you use for uh, choosing the plural markers? Can someone highlight that? In part of ka, uh, huh? we use the. You use s as a plural marker. Sir, sir, not s. Sir, okay. Yeah, correct. And for the rest of them, you're going to use the. Okay. That is, uh, with voiceless stops, you use a voiceless plural marker, sir. And with the rest of them, for voice sounds, you use the voiced markers. That's the rule. Okay, in sibilance, for example, if your uh, words end with st, z, ch, j, then it's going to be is. Okay, like say, for example, church. So the marker is going to be neither sir nor z, but it's going to be is. Achieved. Right? Yes, yeah. the, these are the things that you must remember. That's all. So let's look at the words that you have here. The first one, tree. Trees. Trees. So. Yeah. So. Ah, right. Just tell me when you're giving the answer, say whether it's the voiced one or the voiceless one. Okay. So say voiced, is a, just to understand whether you have got the point here. Uh, okay. This first one would be which one? Voiced or voiceless? Voiceless. Uh, voiced, voiced, voiced. Because see, we don't have pertaka no, at the end. You have something else. You have a vowel sound at the end. Uh, vowels are all by default voiced. So, of course, you have to use a voice marker for this. Second one, cook. Cook. It's so, um, uh, not, not voiced, more. Uh, voiceless, voice. yes. Yeah. So, correct, so, correct. Place. Place. What's the last sound? Voice, man. Voice jaw. Voice. Voice, but what what's the last sound in place? So. So. So places. Okay, is is the mark. Places. Hmm? Then notebook. Voiceless. Voiceless. Correct. Next shop. Voiceless. So, voiceless. So, so. Yes. Correct. Correct. Player, yes. next one. Player, voice, mom. voice, voice, right? Player, yeah, correct. Voice, mom. next state, voice, voiceless, yes, voice. because the yeah, no, not voice. Why voice? 
What's the last sound in state? Where do you hear E in state? State. Where do you hear the sound E in state? You only no, have the letter E, no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Till the next one. Till. Uh, voice. Uh, voice. 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 Because now is nasal. Nasal sounds are also voiced by default. So you're going to have voice. So you, you'll have to use the voice term. Plural marker. Tins. So the joke. Nine pun joke. Uh, it's a voiceless moment, so, so. Voiceless. Voiceless one. Correct. Correct. Voiceless. So, last one. Clam. Clam. A voiceless one. Yeah. Voice, voice, sorry. Voiced, voice, voice, voice. voice. Yeah. Yes. You have ma. It's an nasal sound, hence voiced uh, marker. So, clams. Okay. Now, uh, there's another question at the end, which uh, is which among the above have aspirated sounds? Look at one to ten and tell me which one would have aspirated sounds. Sorry, three. Yeah, Will it be? be See, when we were discussing this in the last class, no, did I also not tell you about the uh, clusters where perturb occur with ra? Right? Yes, so, what did I tell you? If it comes with, uh, if there's a cluster formation with the sound ra, then aspiration is not materialized. Not you cannot see that. Right? So, it won't be aspirated. Of course, the other two conditions are satisfied. It does uh, occur at the beginning of the syllable that is stressed. But with the combination of R, it becomes impossible. So we won't mark it for stress, even if uh, the other two condition does apply here. OK. So no, tree is not aspirated. How about hook? No, right? Place? Yes, ma'am. Yes, place is aspirated. Yes, place is aspirated. Okay. Then notebook. Notebook. This is a compound now. Compound noun. No, this is also not aspirated because you don't have it. Uh, you don't have pert or occurring in the beginning of a stress syllable, right? So no chance of anything being aspirated. Shop. Sure. No, no, nothing to aspirate, right? Uh, player, player. Non aspirate, aspirate. 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 aspirate, yes. Player is aspirate. State, aspirated. Ah, non aspirated. It is not aspirated. Where is it? See, there is sir, but it follows sir, right? That's not the first sound of the stress syllable. This is monosyllabic. There's only one syllable here, and the stress has to be ideally on the uh, in the beginning. But then what happens here? You don't have ter in the beginning of the word. It's sir. So not aspirated. Okay. Next, tin. Aspirated. aspirated. Yes, it is aspirated. Okay. Tin is certainly aspirated. Then uh, joke. Non-aspirated. Non-aspirated. Non joke is non-aspirated. And uh, the last one, clam. Clam. Clam is aspirated, right? You have co in the beginning of this first syllable. I mean, this is a monosyllabic word, and hence this is going to be aspirated as well. Hmm? All right. Okay. So uh, we we done with this sheet. I'm moving on to the next one. I'm closing this for the moment. Um, then I'll share the next document with you. Just give me a minute. Just this, yes. 
Okay. Are you able to see the screen now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So we'll do this one. Um, how good are you with the agreement part? Are you able to do those questions properly? Because okay. we'll do a few of them, but uh, uh, I think I have the maximum number of questions on agreement. Anyway, we are not going to do all those sets. We'll maybe do say ten or so from that. Uh, but uh, how how good are you with that? Do you have any confusions or questions in that part of the uh, module? Subject verb agreement. That is. The rule in the, uh, what you have to do is fairly simple, right? You just need to keep in, your verb needs to agree with the verb for number and person. Okay? These two things have to be uh, achieved in order to ensure that there is an agreement between the subject and the verb. Okay, that's all. But you need to be particularly careful about those distributive pronouns like everyone, everybody, nobody, no one, somebody, uh, and... Uh, Sorry, not uh, distributive ones, the indefinite pronouns and uh, distributive would be either or, neither, nor. Okay? Those kind of uh, uh, pronouns can create some sort of confusions with respect to the form of verb that you have to use. But keep this in mind for all of those categories, we'll do singular verbs. Okay? They're always uh, used along with uh, singular verbs. And each one of, uh, uh, every one of, again, Although it looks like you're referring uh, to the whole group, of course we are, but then the reference is to individual uh, members of the group in question. So again, the verb is going to be singular. Uh, so each one of my sisters uh, uh, is educated, not are educated. Right. Yeah, correct. It's fine. So we start off with this one. The first one, the first exercise is uh, in phrasal verbs. Okay, so you have to use the right verb along with the uh, adverbial given. The adverbial is already given. Uh, you have to uh, use the right verb that would go along with this to make it a meaningful phrasal verb. Okay, first one is what time did uh, Julie and Dev dash off? The screen is already shared. Why uh, is it uh, visible to others? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Yes, Ah, okay. Maybe you have to pin it. Okay. It's already pinned. Okay. Uh, we begin and okay, the first one. What time did Julie and A dash? Of so suitable phrasal verb. Okay, let I'll do one thing. Maybe I'll give you some options so that you can pick from it. Just look at your chat for this. I'm going to leave it in the chat. Start off. Yeah. Yeah, I have just given you a few options. Yeah, start off should also be fine. So there's care, grow, look, make, put, run, set, switch. You can use any of this. Not any, the one which. Yes, that is also, uh, I mean, grammatically right and yeah, even meaning wise also correct. But any other option that's possible? Run is correct. You can use run off also. Sorry? Set off. Yeah, set off. Okay, that, that was what I was looking for. But yes, like he said, even run can work here. That's also a possibility. Okay. Now, where did you dash up? Grow up. Ah, where did you grow up? Yes, correct. Where did you go? Oh. Can you see the screen? It looks like it's blacked oh, out. Yeah. Now it's visible. Okay. Uh, then, yeah. Uh, next one is. Uh, will you look up the doctor's number in the phone book? Will you look up the doctor's number in the phone book? Correct. Okay, that's correct. 
then the next one don't forget to switch the fans yeah don't forget to switch the heating off when you go out don't forget to switch the heating off when you go out now next one fifth one b dash into eat at the supermarket yesterday we ran we, we ran into we ran into eat at the supermarket yesterday correct sixth one millie's parents dash for her children while she is at work look for millie's parents dash for her children Take care. Not look for, not take care. You, you, you just have to use one of the verb there, right? Mm -hmm. Care. Care. Parents care, care, care for, correct. Care, care for the children while she's at work. Then, next one is I am leaving. I can't dash up with this situation any longer. Put up. Look Put up. up. Put up. Put up with this situation any longer. I can't. Uh, sorry, what is it? Yeah, I'm leaving. I can't put up with this situation any longer. Okay. Then the next uh, one is Charlie still has in Dash's mind up about this laptop to buy. Ah, made up. Okay, made his mind up. So uh, see, I am not pointing it out, but uh, you know the distinctions of the uh, separable and inseparable, right? Some of them you have already seen in this one. Like the last one is an example of a. separable phrasal verb right so made his mind up ha huh? another one the uh, the fourth one here don't forget to switch the heating off so switch off the heating or switch the heating off this is again an example of separable phrasal verb okay okay the next one um my mother can't work dash how to use her new mobile phone you can use other the Besides the one that's given in your option, you can look for other uh, options too. My mother can't work. Wow. That's how to use wow. work. Wow. Ha huh. out. Yes, work out. So this one is uh, now the verb is given to you, and now you have to supply it with a suitable adverbial that follows. Okay, so work out how to use her new mobile phone. Correct. Tenth one, Mark enrolled on a course to brush dash on his journey. Up, up on brush. Journey. Up, up, brush up on his journey. Up is the answer. Eleventh, the actor walked dash the stage and went back to his dressing room. Out. Ha, walked out. Okay, walked out the stage and went back to his dressing room. Out. O U T is the answer. Out. well this information is important so make sure you write it down ha huh. write it no. down no. write it down correct 13 my parents are always going dash on about my going on ha huh. correct going on about my clothes and my friends on and on is not necessary you can simply say going on okay going on about my clothes and my Next, uh, next. This milk smells horrible. I think it's gone. Bad. Gone bad. Yes. Now this one is not exactly an adverbial, but that's also uh, considered a phrasal. Okay, gone bad. Okay. Fifteenth, we'll go dash your ideas and get back to you next week. For ideas. Sorry, what's the answer? We'll go through your ideas and get back yeah, to you next. Yeah, through your week. ideas. Yes, through your ideas and get back to you next week. Sixteenth, he's always borrowing money from me, but he never back. pays it back. back. Correct. Yeah, pays it back. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, let's see what we have next. Ah. Uh, Ah, so these are questions in subject verb agreement. We'll maybe do the first ten or so, and uh, once you have the document, you can use it as a uh, practice uh, for uh, this one. Actually, a lot of them. Let me check how many we have. Oh, it's not many. 
about 40. Anyway, we are not going to do all of them here, but we'll, we'll just do the first and uh, first 10. And if there's still some time, then we'll get back to this and do the test. Let's do this. Uh, so you have to supply or uh, tell me the right verb forms. Okay. First one, the frogs at the cottage dash very loudly. Your verb is frog. 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 Correct. Because you have plural subjects, so your verb also need to be plural. So there's a frog. Frog. Sorry, frogs at the cottage. Frog very loud. Correct. Next, the horses dash wildly across the field. Gallop. 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 Right? Gallop. Because again, horses, plural. The herd of horses dash wildly Gallop. across the field. The herd of horses gallops. Gallop. Gallop wildly. Yes. The herd of horses, again, you treat that as a singular subject. Okay, collective nouns usually prepare as singular subjects. Herd of horses gallops wildly across the field. Okay, just the horses gallop, the herd of horses gallops. Fourth, there has been many hurricanes. There have, there have been many hurricanes this year. There have been many hurricanes this year. The woman with all the cats dash here regularly. Shops. The woman, shops. Huh. shops, shops, shops. Correct. The woman with the with all the cats shops here regularly. Shops. Okay. Singular subject. You have with all the cats and all, but we know that anything that interface between the subject and the verb doesn't matter. It does not uh, apply for the subject verb agreement. The agreement is only between the verb and the subject of the sentence, which is the woman, and that's singular. Hence, your verb also has to be singular. Sixth one. The mascot, as well as the hockey players, dash at the school. Volunteers. Volunteers. The mascot, yes, correct. Volunteers at the school, right? As well as the hockey players is an intervention which doesn't affect the number of the subject. So, subject is still the mascot. Only the mascot, not anything. Seventh one, the hockey players and the mascot dash at the school. Volunteers. 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 Ah, okay, now this is a compound subject, right? You have two subjects. You have hockey players and you also have the mascot. So uh, this is plural subject. Uh, and hence, the verb you use could be plural as this, volunteer. The hockey players and the mascot volunteer at this. The hockey players or the mascot that at the school? Volunteers. Volunteers. Volunteers, why? Because the mascot is singular. And whenever you have or and nor and all, the subject that is closer to the verb is what is considered for the agreement purpose. Okay? If it is plural, you take the uh, verb as plural. If it is singular, you take the verb as plural. Here, mascot is singular. And that's the one uh, that's closer to the verb. And hence, you are going to use the verb also in its singular. So, volunteers at the school. The hockey players or the mascot volunteers at the school. Uh, this okay, we skipped the ninth one. I don't know why I have added it like that. Okay. Uh, is it for correction? Yeah, I think it is for correction. Okay, anyway, we will uh, look at it once we are done with the other question. Uh, we now go to the third one, which is to fill in suitable articles. Okay. The first one. Can you find me dash book on English oh. grammar? The, the, the book. book. Oh. Can you find me oh. a book on English grammar? Right. He's saying just find me any book on English grammar. That's the meaning. So can you find me a book on English grammar? Right. A book. Now next. Here is dash book on English grammar. The. Oh. Here is, ha, here is the book on English grammar. Okay, now here you're being more specific. Here is the book on English grammar. Third one. I'd like dash strawberry ice cream. Oh, strawberry ice cream. A strawberry ice cream. I'd like mm -hmm. a strawberry ice cream. No article. I'd like. No, no. 
some story. I would like us for the Why no article? I would like I some information available. Right? There is an article here, here, so you are usually looking at A and uh, why would you use some? The articles, right? Hmm. So you have to either choose yeah. between A and or the... Uh, I I like Sorry? Yeah. A, I'd like a, I'd like a strawberry ice cream. Yes, yes. I already said that the right answer. Okay, someone has said some and I was explaining to them. Okay, I'd like a strawberry ice cream is the right answer. Okay, because see ice cream is countable, you can count it, no? Then, fifth one. Uh, who is dash woman you were talking to at lunch? The, 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 the woman. Who is the, the woman? Not a woman. Yeah. It has to be the because you're specifying the woman who, sorry, the woman you were talking to at lunch. Very specific. So the, okay. I am looking, sixth one. I am looking for dash hat that will go with my dress. Go ahead. I am looking. I am looking for a hat. I am looking for a hat that will go with me. Okay. I am looking for a hat that will go with my dress. Look at the next one. I am looking for dash hat that will suit me best. The hat. The, the hat. The hat. Yeah. The hat. Because you know, if you're looking for the best suiting thing, then it can be only one. So it shows uniqueness. And specificness, uh, that's why the hat that will suit me best. Okay. Um, no, not the ninth one, tenth one. Can someone tell me dash time? The time. The time. The time. The time, the time. The time also, uh, we have discussed this time by itself is not countable, right? Yes. So we cannot use A or N along with it. But yes, minutes and hours are countable, but not time as well. So the time. There is no such beast as oh, dash unicorn. unicorn. Oh, unicorn. There is no such beast as the unicorn. Right? No such beast as the unicorn. Okay. Twelfth one, dash train is late again. The train. The train. The train, the train. The train is late again, right? We're talking about a specific train. The train is late again. Okay. Thirteenth one. The dinosaur, has long ah, been the dinosaur has long been extinct. The dinosaur has long been extinct. Then the next one. The teachers. Teachers. The, teachers the teachers. teachers. Teachers are poorly paid in this country. Do you don't you think that is enough? Why would you say the teachers? Are we talking specifically about any teachers? No. no, we are no. generally, this is the general statement you are making, no? So teachers are poorly paid in this country. So no article required. Teachers are poorly paid in this country. Then, 15th one, he came on that small market where women were selling dried beans. Oh. He came on a small market, okay? A small market where women were selling dried beans. Sixteen beans are dash highly efficient form of nutrition. Uh, uh, highly efficient. Uh, uh, a highly efficient form of nutrition. Seventeen. We rebuilt kitchen in just the, four weeks. The kitchen in just four weeks. Kitchen, we rebuilt the kitchen in just four weeks. Next, eighteen. People who throw stones shouldn't live in green houses. No article. No article. Ah. Is it the case or, or do we use the definite article? The? No article. No article. Definite. definite article, yes. Because see, you are specifying you no. Know, which kind of people? Who throws stones, right? So the people who throw stones shouldn't live in greenhouses. We're not talking about people in general. Okay, this is a saying. This is the same, but you have to use by the rules. Uh, uh, you need to use the definite article there because you have specified what kind of people.
not any people, not in general. So the people who throw stones can live in real houses. Okay. Uh, 19. History graduates have dash hard time finding jobs. A hard time. Ah, a hard time. Right. A hard time finding jobs. Okay. Then the last one. Dash standard bed may not be right for everyone. A standard bed. Ah, a standard bed. A standard bed may not be right for everyone. Okay, now uh, the last set of them. Uh, this is um, an exercise in idioms and phrases. So, uh, from the given alternatives, you have to choose the one that best expresses the meaning of the uh, idiom of the text. Okay, first one he has the gift of the gab. Uh, he's a good conversationalist. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gift of the gap means a good see. Good conversationalist. Okay. Second one, parent parental property has become a bone of contention between the siblings. Bone of Many contention factor of the quarrel for the rivalry. B. Bone of contention for the quarrel. Yes, for the quarrel. Bone of contention, usually cause of quarrel. Parental property has become a bone of contention between okay. the It's cause of quarrel. Three, once in a blue moon, we meet each other. Frequently? Sometimes, Sorry. seldom. Seldom. Seldom indeed. Seldom indeed. Seldom. Seldom indeed. Once in a blue moon? It's a rarity that we meet. Fourth one, he has been jobless for several months. It Pot is why he leaves. The keeps the fire burning, avoids starvation, gets angry. Avoid starvation. Mm -hmm. Correct. Huh. Correct. Fifth one, in the end, he had to eat humble pie, apologize humbly, defend himself vigorously, adopt an aggressive attitude. Apologize humbly. Apologize, yes, apologize humbly. Correct. Correct. He apologize humbly. Sixth one, to be a good orator, you don't have to play to the gallery, say, make a fool of yourself, offend the audience, appeal to the lower taste, appease select audience. Appease play select to the gallery. Select, appease select appease audience. Correct. Ah, correct, correct. Seventh, the officer took him to task, praised him, reprimanded him severely, dismissed him, promoted him. That should be the last one. Uh, reprimanded him severely would be the answer. Okay, eighth one. Jack has a dash because he could remember how to spell that egg on his teeth egg on his face egg on his shirt egg on his face. someone your uh, uh mic uh, is on and you're not to the the so here his heartbeat in rock on effect. his face Looking egg on his face is the uh right usage okay I'm audible, right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma ninth one, egg on his face is the answer. And ninth one, as the maestro lifted his weight in the theater, was so still you could hear. Ah, a pin drop. Pin drop. A pin drop. Correct. Uh, I don't agree with you, but your ideas certainly give me food for consideration. For thought. For thought. For thought. Food for thought. Right? This is a very commonly used expression. Food for thought. Okay, eleventh one. I think I understand the nuts and dash of the operation. Bolts of the operation. Nuts and bolts of the operation. Yes. Twelfth one. I am afraid this hip hop isn't my cup of tea, Java coffee, wine. Tea. 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 Correct. Thirteenth. Just a moment. I have got the answer on the dash of my tip tongue. Tip of my tongue. Tip of my. Right. Tip of my. 
reporting. Look, I'll pay you back. Would you please call the dash hunters of tigers of dogs of dogs of? Will you call the hunters of tigers of? Uh, dogs. It's dogs or okay. Ah, what is it? What's the right answer? Uh -huh. Dogs. How are you? Uh, uh, you know, getting to this one. Where did you get tigers from? Ma'am, uh, he's avoid avoid avoiding danger in the sense. I'll pay you back. Can you just uh, set me free for now, like? Correct. Yeah, your answer. See, uh, the interpretation is right, but the right option is what? Dogs of, not tigers. So I was just wondering where. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, usually, uh, someone uh, lets off their. Uh, sorry, sets off their dogs. Yeah. Someone. Correct. 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 That's right. I I was just trying to find out where the tiger came from. So. Okay. Okay. Where? Well. Huh. Okay, ever yes. since today, ever since he married Jane, he's had a new dash on life. Yes. Oh, it should be actually not on. Usually you say off. Okay. So lease of life. Okay, rent lease title loan, a new lease of life. Ever since he married Jane, he's had a new lease of life. Okay. That's the right answer. 16th. Oh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I guess I really put my dash in my mouth. My foot and foot elbow knee. Foot, foot, foot in my mouth. Okay, correct. Foot in my mouth. You know the uh, meanings of all of this, right? You should know that as well. I so really put I, my foot in my mouth. Yes? in my mouth means uh, stop talking, right? That's right. The opposite. Can you guess it from the context? See, read that sentence again. Okay, okay. The land in trouble. Or... No, to say something that you shouldn't have said. Ah, Correct. Say something that you shouldn't have said. You no, know, say inappropriate things is what it means. I had put my foot in my mouth. See, uh, while we were talking about the phrases and idioms, no, I didn't. Uh, ask you to do one thing like try and visualize and how does it uh, how does it look like do you do you find that uh, thing is appropriate when you say foot in my mouth it's not appropriate uh -huh. right so in this context again when you read the sentence all over again you know that see I shouldn't have said that I guess I really put my foot in my mouth I said something that was inappropriate shouldn't have said right okay 17 I'll be back in the twinkling of, of an eye. Of an eye. Uh, of an eye. Twinkling of an eye. Twinkling of an eye. Okay, then comes the next one. My friend is as dash these days. He as never gets time. Busy as a bee. As busy as a bee. Busy as a bee. Busy as a bee. Second. Indeed. You need to dash for this problem. It requires a lot of confidence. Place your thinking cap. Put on your yes. Put on your thinking cap. Put on your thinking cap. Okay. Franklin went from dash in his life. He started with nothing and ended up a very rich person. Rags to riches. Rags to riches. Rags to riches. Twenty bucks. My boss dash at work because it was my first week. Played me the ropes. Showed me the ropes. Yes. Showed me the ropes. At work because it was my first week. Okay, the last one in here. I'm sure the situation will improve. It will work out for the better, work out for the best, work what into the best. Work out for the it best. Work out for the best. Work out for the better. Work out for the better. That's the usage. Work out for the better. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, anything other than this, we're almost. Uh, 
mark is released. One. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, any questions you have, guys? For the end term, I think 65. Uh, there are, uh, all of them are, uh, no, I think there are one mark questions and there are also two mark questions. And each week is given. Yes, yes, that's right. Each module is given equal weightage. Ah. OK, we'll have all of this uh, documents uploaded. Please uh, keep checking that space as well. If anything is missing, please write to us. And uh, thank you for uh, joining in for all the sessions. Some of you have been quite regular for this class. Uh, yes, please go ahead. Those slides haven't been uploaded. Those slides haven't been uploaded yet. Those slides. Slides. I think we have only. Oh, the one related to stress. Yes, yes. That uh, that yes. I will send. I haven't sent the document yet. I will do that. Okay. Maybe by the not the end of the week. Maybe in today or tomorrow you will see. It. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Is it available in the supplementary channel, no? Yes, yes, yes. Right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming in. I uh, hope this has been helpful for you. Wish you all the best for your exams. And uh, uh, we'll see you in English, too, in case you're taking it up. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma okay. Sure. Thank you. thank you so much, everyone. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.